Hi guys, welcome back to another vloggy. Wait, what the fuck? This guy in front of me is on a skateboard and he just, we're at the stoplight and he just got off the skateboard. And now the skateboard's just in front of me. Oh, he's back on it. Welcome back to another vloggy. This is a weekend vloggy. Today is Friday and so it's the weekend, obviously. I had a great morning. I started it by doing Jive. I met my friend Kelsey. I met it with her. We did Jive together. Reagan, my friend Reagan was teaching it. Jive is a cycling class and it was so much fun. It was so good. Reagan played Taylor Swift for me because whenever I go to one of her classes, she at least makes sure to play one Taylor Swift song for me. And the skateboard guy just turned left on the red light, but now it's green. So that was really good to see her. And we got coffee. We were gonna try somewhere new because I keep telling myself I need to try somewhere new, but I cannot get over Baba's on Cannon. Like, they're oats, and then I get their ice vanilla latte, half honey, half vanilla. So freaking good. So I got that, and it was Kelsey's first time, so she tried it, and she loved it too. Yeah, now I'm running home. We had to cut it short. Not short, we were there for like two hours. But my dresser is here. My custom dresser. I've been waiting for a month. She built my dresser. Oh, look, they're little... Their little truck is here. Hi! Here's perfect. I'm gonna park in here and I'll be right out. Okay, yeah, so she can park there. So she custom built my dresser. It's gonna be a blue dresser with gold hardware. She custom built it. She like re, Arrived what's it called home. when you like flip a house? She like did that with the dresser and flipped it. And so I'll show you guys the before picture of the dresser and the after picture. Made it really cute. And so she's delivering that and then she's also installing my wallpaper. So I'm, obviously paying her for both and she's gonna install the wallpaper and dresser so my room's gonna look like completely different but i'm meeting her now to like let her in and stuff but i think her elevator is still broken okay <laughs> oh my god it looks like the freaking like better than the both review pictures dude you're so talented the blue pills look really good, actually. I'm so glad we did that muted color. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this changes everything. Hi guys, so real quickly, I just want to thank the sponsor of this video. It is Ritual. So I've been taking the Ritual Symbiotics for a couple weeks now, and I'm seeing very good results, so I just want to tell you guys a little bit about Ritual and the symbiotic I've been taking. So their symbiotic is more than just a probiotic. It's a three-in-one clinically studied prebiotic probiotic and a postbiotic to support an overall healthy microbiome. The nursing major in me loves this. All you do is take one daily capsule and it helps for gut restoration, gut health. So easy, just one capsule a day. No refrigeration even necessary. You can just keep them on your bathroom counter, which is what I do. And then they have the delayed capsule release. If you're a nursing girl, you know that. So that it helps them to reach the colon and not the stomach, which the colon's an ideal place for probiotics to stay and grow and actually help you. They are vegan friendly and they're formulated without GMOs. My big thing was gut support. I feel like sometimes I'm always bloated or my tummy hurts. So these have the gut support. Their digestive support is the biggest thing because it helps relieve bloating, gas, and diarrhea. They also have immune support because 70% of the immune system is in the gut. So they help you with immunity, which is huge, especially because I'm around sick kids all the time. They can be taken with or without food because it's nice because sometimes I like change when I eat breakfast, like different hours of the day. When you first start this gut microbiome, it might take some time to kick in. You'll just take time to adjust to it. And now that I'm on a good schedule, it just feels so great. Some can feel effects within just two to four weeks of stable taking, which is when I started to feel the effects of feeling great. It's important to take them daily and not miss because that can help do the healthy, stable gut microbiome environment that we want. Symbiotics designed for adults 18 and plus, but if you're pregnant, consult your doctor. Or nursing or using other medications, definitely talk to your doctor. So me and Ritual are hooking you guys up. You can use code Anaheim30 for 30% off your first month. That's code Anaheim30 for 30% off your first month of Ritual. Click the link in the description, use my code, go do it you guys. I'm gonna take my daily supplement. Now I'm ready to go to the gym. Love you guys, use my code, link is in the description. Guys, I found the tools so I can undo the bar stools in the trash and I'm gonna return them to Amazon. Okay, but how did they do this? Guys, I slayed, I couldn't find the screws at first, but then I found them in the trash from when Mac and Ma, her mom put them together. So then I took apart the bar stools myself, put the extra screws in there, and then hopefully Amazon will take this. Like, they're gonna have to figure it out because I can't do any more than that. Like, good luck, busters. Now I'm gonna take this down to the trash, this to my car, get the other one put in my car, and then we'll bring this back up with my rug. Yo, 
y'all. The amount of shit I just did is crazy. I literally got all my packages. Well, I went up and down already with the girl, like carrying the dresser and stuff and like helping her get the dresser and the elevator was broken the whole time. So like we had to like go to the far elevator and walk super far and do all that stuff, whatever. I had her help, but I went up and down like 10 times. And then I went to go get my packages and then I decided, so I took the wagon downstairs, took out the trash, which the trash is super far. Then I took the wagon up and then I decided to start unbuilding the bar stools because if you didn't know, I got bar height instead of counter height and it was gonna bug me. So I gotta return all four bar stools that were like $500 total and rebuy counter ones. I gotta return them to Amazon. So I had to unbuild them, unscrew them, put them in the package, tape the package up, get the big box downstairs on the wagon, get more packages, get the other one from the package room that we haven't opened yet. And then, so now I have these two giant boxes and one big wagon. One giant box is in my car, one's in my wagon, and I gotta figure out how to print. I had to learn how to use a printer downstairs and it didn't work for so long, and then I finally got it working, the community printer. And then, finally got the other package, got them both in my car, got the wagon in my car, but I got my car so dirty in the process. Then I got in my car and finally got the stuff printed. Finally it worked, it took me forever to log in and figure out how to print it. And I finally figured out how to print it and then got in my car, got the wagon in my car, got my car all dirty, took it to UPS, had to get the wagon off UPS. That was hard to get into the doors of UPS. I was hitting every door. Then finally I get to UPS and the lady's so fucking nice. She didn't question my packaging or anything. She just said, okay, I'll take it from here. And I could just leave them there and got my receipt. I was like, bro, you're saving my life right now. Like I needed that to be easy because nothing else was easy about it. I didn't get to put away all my clothes or do anything with my room yet, but the wallpaper's up, the dresser's up, the clothes will be another day because I'm fucking Proceed tired. Proceed to the root. And now I'm going to get Blum coffee because right. I deserve another coffee. Can this shut up? At the light. Turn oh my right gosh, shut street. up. Because I deserve another coffee. And then we're going to go to dinner tonight, but I don't know the vibe. Sydney wants to dress cute, but I don't want to, I want it to be like chill because tomorrow's game day and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go get coffee. I didn't get a hat, but I got two shirts. Yeah. Cher has merch. I'm like, do we just wear this tomorrow? <laughs> Literally. Look at all my golden tickets. <laughs> Okay, I self-tanned and put on my potato sack, and <laughs> so that means I can't go out, which is perfect. We're just having a chill little Friday night. I want to get oysters and a drink. Well, we're hoping. Leon's has a 50 minute oh, wait, like a bar yeah, bar. Yeah, let's go to recovery yeah. Look at the pink clown. Are they texting us when it's ready? Yes. Put all your stuff away and check out for the day. There's no time to waste when it's 100 degrees Burns under my feet Won't you have a drink with me? Get ready with me. Oh wait, I didn't get ready. Lauren just did such a good workout. I'm so proud of her. I'm very sweaty if you can't tell. They can't. They... I know, the pink is like going crazy right now. Cheers, Governor. Cheers. Our first cheers we live in the today. <laughs> Okay, happy Saturday. Let me explain to y'all what the fork just happened. Let me turn this down because I kind of got to get to the works. First of all, look how pretty my coffee is. I needed her. I booked that class and I was like, we were leaving the free people event and I was like, how am I going to kill time until 1130? It's 1120. I'm going to get there at 1127 because I was driving around for Starbucks all day. But guys, so my morning started. My plan was to get up at 720, go to Scarlett's. She's my friend who does my hair for a blowout at 8 a.m. I know a blowout before a workout, not a good idea, but she's doing it for free in exchange for content because my content did really well for her, which she deserves because she's an amazing hairdresser. Go to her if you're in Charleston. She's so good, but I missed that because guys, so my phone was literally, this charger like wasn't fully in, I guess, and I play white noise and the white noise made my phone die. So I woke up with no alarm because my phone was completely dead. Right when I opened my eyes, panic. You know that feeling like panic set in and I knew. I knew it wasn't 7.20 a.m. because my body doesn't wake up at 7.20. I wish it did. So missed the blowout 
and then the free people class which free people freaking so kindly dressed me for missed that because i woke up at 9 35 and it started at 9 30 but i threw on my clothes threw on like nothing and went to the class and i was too late to join the class but i talked with the girls all upstairs like all the free people girls and the jive girls and they were so nice and so like it's okay but it just looked really bad for my first like event with them and yeah, I'm really sad because I just feel bad. But it ended up turning around. I went there, I chilled with them, got to see the upstairs area, and then Lauren, Aaron, and Ellie, and Reagan took the class. So I got to hang with them and talk after when we planned to have brunch today, and we're all going to share house. So it's going to be a really fun day, and I think I turned around because Scarlett's not mad at me with the hair. I talked to her. I booked the works because I feel like shit for not working out too. Like, I just... Just waking up just throws your whole day off. So I booked the works class, which is gonna make me feel so good and sweat. So I booked that 11.30 and then I think I'm gonna meet them for brunch at 12.30. And then I'm gonna go get ready and we're all gonna go to your house together. So the day did turn around and I got Starbies, but I kinda need to shut this because now the class is in nine minutes. So hopefully Free People doesn't hate me too much. I think I talked to them a good bit and made up to them, but yeah, now we're on the way to the works and hopefully this like sweats out all my stress and we feel better But my friends are very nice and encouraging and like it's okay Anna and we're all gonna have a good Saturday Despite the outcome, but it's a crispy good fall Saturday and we got a brown sugar shake and espresso I put it down to two bumps of brown sugar four pumps of sugar-free vanilla. So we got this y'all We got this my outfit's so cute though Oh, oh my god Every time I do that class, I like literally, you start it out and you're like, oh, it's just hot yoga. Like it's not even that hot. Like I'm not going to sweat. And then literally before you even know it, you look down and you're dripping like so extremely much. Like, and every time I do it, I'm like, this has to be the most I've ever sweat. Every time it beats it. And since I self tanned and I haven't showered off my self tan yet, I kept dripping like brown, muddy <laughs> sweat drops. <laughs> so that was gross, but. It's okay. So now we're going to Virginia's on King to meet the girlies for brunch. Reagan, Ellie, Aaron, Lauren had plans, but it's gonna meet with us later. So I'm meeting them for brunch, but the problem is they're all ready for the whole day. And this girl probably thinks I'm talking to her when I'm talking to you guys. They're all ready for the whole day, but I simply am not. Like I'm gonna leave brunch a little early cause I gotta go get ready for share house. Cause we're all gonna be at share house. But they went home and I did the works instead because I had to get ready. So yeah, I'm gonna be the one not looking good at brunch, but it's okay because I still get to see them and I get the best of both worlds, you know? That's been my plan, trying to get the best of both worlds. And then I'm gonna go get ready for the day. I think I know what I'm wearing. I think I'm gonna do jeans, a little black free people tank top, and then my, since I didn't get the blowout, the run the damn ball hat. It'll be a cute chill outfit, and then my maroon boots, cause they match the hat. I hope this restaurant literally lets me in looking like this. But the works guys, like I can't even explain it. It was so much like good little cardio burst, but also like the perfect amount of flow. Like it's just perfect. And she was like, she said something where she was like, Okay, no matter what you're doing after this, like, don't think about what you have to get in the car and go do or what your plans are after this or if something happened this morning, I overslept. She was like, don't think about any of that. Just be present with your body. It just really makes you grateful for what your body can do, you know? Like, we really should be grateful that our body can move like this. Like, it's actually crazy. Not everybody has that blessing, so. That's what the works is doing to me. It makes me really just think, you know? But we're almost there. It's gonna be a good day. We turned it around. See how this vlog should be called turning a bad day into a good one hopefully hopefully it ends good all right i'm gonna keep driving and listening to zach bryan cheers governor cheers governor cheers governor cheers <laughs> it looks yummy what is this? Yum. Yum. I Is he cute? <laughs> Send him a picture of us. <laughs> Let's see a picture. How old is he? 22. We're, I'm 23 and they're 24. Have y'all got a picture of y'all? Uh, we'll yeah. send you a group photo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like all of them are taken except for yeah, group photo. this That's side of the <laughs> No, Anna never knows when I do her vlog, but I do it for fun. Go Cox! Go Cox. Always. Always. Ryan Kelly, have you met Blonde? 
Boy, of course you have. Ryan just followed me back. We've known each other for what, four years? I feel so bad. I take my loss. It is what it is. I'll let it hey. Tyler. All right. You have three words to say to ball you. What are they? Carolina sucks. That's two words. I only got but, two. No, the exclamation point of the end yeah. is third. Are you still that girl? I'm all you. My boy, better like you know. Got it. I'm gonna say it so you don't have to. One no game football, watch out. <laughs> You're done. We're dialing up some heat, baby. Here, here for a good time out of the long Absolutely. Cheers. 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 All right, boy. Anna. That's not your friend. That's not your friend. We love you. We, we do. We do. We do. We do. This one. All right, Blogger, we're back with another interview. All right, Dana Hyde for you, Charles. I'm going to give it 100. All right, 100 is way beyond the 10 scale, but we'll let it go. It must be pretty good. 10 on my turn. Review Star Girls so far. Can they hear us? Star Girls more than Charleston. No, I'm just kidding. She's no. on. You. No RBF. Miles here. Miles today. You're a prince. He doesn't have RBS. I don't have RBS. It's gonna be hard, but you can take it. When did you cry? Then you will fake it. I met somebody. Hi guys, so we're leaving the bar. Yeah, eight years. Really we're just here. not really bar, bar people. <laughs> hey vloggy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay, we're back again. We are on the way back from the bars and I don't know, it just wasn't the vibe. So we're gonna go back and do like a little bonfire. Yeah, a little bonfire because the bar was fun with our friends and like we got to see them and spend like, yeah. a little, we did, we did a little compromise. Like our friends who wanted to stay out, we went back out and I'm glad we went out after Mexican. Like honestly, it was yeah. like 5 p.m. Like we should have. But now it's a good, what time is it, 9? 30? Yeah, 9.30. And we're just, we just, we're just, we're just, a bonfire. We're just, <laughs> we just want some s'mores. <laughs> should we stop by? Yeah. And get s'more stuff? Mm -hmm. Do they not have s'more stuff? Do they not? Let's ask. Okay. Okay. It would be great if they had s'mores. <laughs> I don't know. Oh wait, how many? Who? Vloggy, we're about to play some beer pong. Promise me this. And it's Whoa, not great. Who is water me? pong? We don't drink. Nah. <laughs> What's up, Vloggy? Good to see you again. It's been a whole like six hours, maybe. Six more hours. Nah, more than six hours, like maybe. All right, so we're here with. You might not know her. Her name's Anna Hyde. If y'all didn't know, I have a secret talent. I just haven't showed them all yet because I'm a little like. She been playing the guitar all evening. I'm a little shy, but if y'all didn't know, I can play the guitar. I'll show you guys one day. Just, just I'm not ready. She strictly knows Taylor Swift because she's gonna be Taylor Swift next guitars. Hi guys, good morning. A good Sunday morning. It is a great Sunday morning because I'm not hungover. That is so glorious. We went last night to Nick's house for the bonfire and didn't stay out, and it was so nice because I just like sipped on a little seltzer like one all night, and it was just really good, chill, fun vibes with my friends, catching up, meeting new people. Ah. Uh, just so relaxing and fun, oh my god. And so after the bonfire, we probably got home like 1, 1 too. And I had the rest of Ryan's Leon's oyster salad, and it was so good. And I had one of those like chocolate chip veggie muffins, and it was so good. But anyways, I just woke up, I slept until like 10, and then Sydney and Ryan called me, and they said, let's go jump in the ocean. So I got up, did some skincare, put on a bathing suit and a sweatshirt, and I guess we're gonna jump in the ocean. I think it's like 75 or 72. I think it's actually in the 60s right now. So we're gonna do like a cold plunge. So I brought a towel and then I brought my free fuel bag because after I want to, A, I wanna sit at a coffee shop and watch church online because I'm too nervous to go to Seacoast alone right now yet. I'm not ready for that. But 
next week I want to and I'm not in the right clothes for it. So I'm gonna watch online at a coffee shop I think and like take notes. And then I wanna go to Trader Joe's because we're having a fall night tonight with the girlies from college. You know them, Cindy Mac, Kaylee, Ryan, Lily. And I wanna make chili or taco soup. So I'm gonna make that for us tonight. And then I think everyone's gonna bring something. And we're gonna watch Harry Potter and the Taylor Swift games tonight. And I'm so excited, but yeah. Now I'm going to Lodi Coffee. I haven't tried it, it's this place in Mount Pleasant. That's a drive-thru that just opened in Mount Pleasant, I think. And apparently they have like really cool flavors of coffee. So I'm excited, I'm grabbing Sid one. She wants like a vanilla latte or something. Ryan doesn't like coffee. And then I'll be over there to pick them up. That's the plan. Okay, I'm looking at the lattes. They literally have like Sour Patch, Vanilla Mint Cream. How am I supposed to choose from this whole menu? Maple cream chai. Hi, can I please have the, can you do this pumpkin spice chai latte but make it the sugar free syrup please? A iced vanilla latte with oat milk. Perfect, thank you so much. No, I did not mean to get three. That was an accident. I thought I got two, Sydney only wanted one. Oops. She's good. And she's sugar free pumpkin spice chai. Hey. I got the girls. Got the queen. The queen. Sure. Anna got me iced vanilla coffee and I said, please bring me a. Oh, you don't like this turn. Do you want help? <laughs> Wait until that motorcycle guy goes. Is yeah, he standing we, up? Then we have a. <laughs> oh, he is standing up. Oh my god, was that real life? I think I'm crying. Then we have a whole nother side to worry about. I got an ice vanilla latte, but I told Anna, I was like, can you give me it sugar in the raw packet? Because I love sugar in the raw. She uh, got me sugar in the raw. <laughs> I thought that was really nice. Of course, I would have gotten it, I feel like, even if you didn't uh, ask for it. Because that's how much I need yeah. to talk about it. guys it's been a second I'm having such a good Sunday so far it's like 3 30 now so it's just a little later than I thought but I saw at Gala which is that coffee shop and I got the blueberry lemon scone which I devoured it was so good avocado just didn't hit as much this time as it did last time so it's kind of weird but I still ate it and then I watched Seacoast only let you watch it live I think which is the church I wanted to watch it's here so I watched my Woodstock City home one I don't even know if it was today's message I thought it was but it could have been last week's it was all about fatal distraction so I took notes in my yeah I just took notes it was about distractions and basically how we have these like fog just just things in our life that like cloud our view like just fog things that don't let us get to the point where we're trying to go and just distract us off the path of our like original plan and goals and your original like passion and reason. And then there's also like fires. So the fog you have to keep going through and those are distractions you like keep pushing through. And then there's fires where you can't make it through. Like you have to stop and deal with your fires. Like you have to address the problems in order to like keep going and shine God's light and like all this stuff and then there's fear that stops us from all that stuff and we need to yeah I'm not good I'm not a pastor but like it was a really good message and I took really good notes and it made me happy so yeah that was that and then I went on like a 45 minute walk and I listened to pretty basic and I walked in old village and they have the cutest Halloween decor insert videos and pictures of the neighborhoods and the Halloween decor so I listened to that and I edited my Instagram post insert those digital pictures that I'm about to post on Instagram and now I'm at Publix and I need to write a list of things I need to get for tonight because the girls are coming over at like five and I need to make taco soup so we're gonna go into Publix and get that stuff but let me post my Instagram photo Okay guys, Publix Hall, because we're hosting fall night tonight, so we got little fall ball candy corn. And then Mac had me get for her thing, wine rolls, cheese, and ham, and butter. I think she's gonna bake something. And then I got yogurt for me. And then we're making tortilla soup, so we got taco seasoning, ground beef, 
I got a Diet Coke, of course. These crackers are just for my personal eating. I got the autumn mix of candy corn. Do you guys like candy corn? Comment below. It's like a TV. Yes. Isn't it crazy? Wait, what? Mm-hmm. I don't understand. I'm confused. Uh-huh. So it's like, it's like a picture frame. Mm-hmm. The TV. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad you said that because that thing gives me so many problems. And so I'm so glad that you appreciate it. What happened? Did it like fall? Yeah, it cracked. I need to order a new one, but the bezels even are like $300. Diced tomatoes, pinto beans, corn, chili beans, Same. and stewed tomatoes. We're gonna have lots of beans. Okay, so before I get cooking and everything, I'm setting up. Oh, and paper towels, because we were like fully out. Don't you Kaylee brought a cutting board. That's, that's real. And Rose is just here. If only my, if only I didn't order bar height counter stools. Wait, what did you do? Did you get, what did you end up now? What am I saying? You know what, I told you about my whole day where I unbuilt them and took them and did all yeah. that. Then I just reordered them in counter height. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be worth it when they come in. Like Wait, it'll, the ones I got. yeah, I wanna see. <laughs> Are you still working on getting it into <laughs> this has been the, hardest thing the salt and pepper? We got the tortilla soup going and then the Taylor Swift came. And the candles. I'm chasing and then this is my <laughs> center. <bag. laughs> Just followed you around. Oh my god, those are perfect for your apartment. Like the vibe of your apartment. This is my favorite, the center Look centerpiece I is. went for. I know. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, we're just eating the girlies up. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> I just like how it's like more random. 